Hello, everyone. Welcome. Hi. We are so glad to be here with Nancy Jo Lambert. She is one of our bulb heads and an amazing teacher librarian in Texas. Um, and she's going to talk with us a little bit about reading and writing today, um, just about her experience with bulbs. So welcome, Nancy Jo. Wanted to tell us a little bit about you and um, kind of how you got started with bulb. So I'm Nancy Jo Lambert. I'm at Nancy Jo Lambert on Twitter and I am a teacher librarian at a grades 9 through 12 high school in Frisco, Texas. I've been with the Frisco Independent School District for 14 years as an educator. Um, I was a middle school English language arts and reading uh, teacher before I became a librarian and I've been a librarian at pre-k elementary and now high school. This is my eighth year in the library. Awesome. That's great. Wow, that's awesome. I, uh, I also hold positions in several professional organizations, the Texas, Texas Library Association, the Texas Computer Education Association, of which I was named the 2019 Library Media Specialist of the Year, mm -hmm. yeah. and uh, various other national uh, ISTE and uh, ALA and ASL as well. So. Awesome. Very cool. So how did you get started with both? So um, our superintendent um, is awesome and he saw Bulb and was like, we got to get this for our district. So every student and staff member in Frisco ISD actually has a Bulb account, which is awesome. Um, so I was introduced to it through our technology department. You know, they were like, we've got this, you know, um, you know, here's a quick little training on it. And uh, and then I immediately um, realized some of its potential. Um, but I'm very much a user of purpose. Like, um, I feel like I identify with my students in that there are so many different technology tools and applications out there that we can use. And um, I kind of have taken on the, the view of it that they take on, which is that's great for all these tools, but you know, I, I want to use it when there's a real purpose. And so, um, I, w I started a couple of applications for a couple of awards this last fall um, when I first uh, saw Bulb and I was like, okay, I'm, you know, see about maybe using Bulb for one of these. And then um, I started using it and I was like, oh my gosh, this thing is awesome. <laughs> I'm going to use it for both. <laughs> so, um, so then I, I, uh, I, I, I actually created the two, um, portfolios that you see here are for two different awards that I applied for this last fall. Wow. That's amazing. That's so cool. And so how has it been working with teachers in your school to kind of collaborate um, with them in Bulb? So I work a lot with my digital learning coach, Katrina Stroot, who's also a Bulb head, and she is phenomenal. And um, she's been using it to create some things for herself as well. And so now that we both kind of have a good handle on, um, you know, how it can be used and, and how it can be structured. Um, we feel like one of the cool things that we can do is to um, take Bulb with um, students. And we collaborate with every content area in, um, in our school, um, every content area, every curriculum area. But we also collaborate a lot with our English language arts and reading teachers. And one of the things that we work with a lot with those teachers is going into um, projects with them. We do a lot of uh, before they start reading type um, projects for uh, like giving them context and stuff for literature that they're about to read. Um, taking a tool like this and, and having um, some things either created in it and then also allowing the kids once they are finished with some of the literary works that they're working on to use this tool to create some different uh, portfolios as well. So I really see this being a tool for English language arts and reading teachers, especially at the high school level, where students can uh, take on the persona of um, a character or a person that they've been reading about in literature and creating a portfolio based on what they've learned about that character. Um, I also see a lot of uses for it as far as um, being a place for them to keep some of their writing and the writing processes, but I feel like that would really be um, a, a joint collaboration with the classroom teachers at that point to kind of walk the, st walk the students through how to use this as a curation tool of their own writing process. Um, that's amazing, yeah. I think that's really cool, and I, I really do see it being 
hugely important tool for English language arts and reading. Um, and I think your idea about using it to create kind of collections for characters and really bringing those characters to life out of the literature, that's a really interesting idea. I'd love to see some I'd love to see you do that. I'd love to see that with some of your students. I know. Well, and I think too, um, Bulb has so many different uses, especially for our students. Like they can collect things personally. They can collect collect uh, things and create things and create writing pieces. And um, they can embed all kinds of things digitally. So I think that really bring allowing them to bring in and incorporate their own writing with digital tools that show their mastery of various uh, concepts and of writing concepts and then also mastery of different things that they're reading i think that this is would be a really cool way for them to incorporate a lot of different pieces digitally versus um just um the the old you know essays or you know pen and paper writing that they could do so I think that our students now they really uh, are creators and they are really embracing that creativity piece and so bulb would be a tool that would allow them to weave in so many different uh, creative pieces and digital pieces into their writing to show their their mastery and their learning that is well said. Wow, I really love that. That's a really cool way to kind of like help students um, capture the process so that they can reach that place of mastery and really show and collaborate with their teachers and other students um, instead of just the traditional essay where they kind of have to show the final product. So that's really cool, Nancy Jo. That's really encouraging. Yeah. One last thought. Um, as a librarian, we had this idea that we want to run by you of how cool would it be, this was Jess's idea, how cool would it be if um, a student who was curating their portfolio from grade kindergarten all the way through high school left high school with a, with a collection in their portfolio indicating every book they ever read and what they thought about it. One sentence about what they thought about it or if it made an impact on them. What would you say about that as a librarian? <laughs> that would be awesome. <laughs> um, I can't, I can't even imagine because our kids, some of them read so many books, like <laughs> that would be, that would be awesome though. Yeah. Would. I remember when I was little, this is where the idea came from. I loved Because of Win dixie I think I read it when I was in the fourth or fifth grade. And I always want to go back and just ask my mini self, why did you love that book so much? What was so impactful to you? So I always wish I had documentation of why I loved it, which would be so cool. So Nancy Joe, thanks for hanging out with us today. Hey, thanks for having me. We so appreciate it. And congrats on being TCEA Librarian of the Year. Yay. You are amazing. Um, and we can't wait to hear more about that later on. Absolutely. Have a great day. Thanks, Nancy Joe. You too. Bye.